Okay, so previously we calculated the size of the type 2 error given a particular sample size. And um, we followed these steps right here. What we're basically doing is we're translating this uh, distance of 10% that you wanted to detect, 50% just by chance, she would have, they would have been guessing, but she thinks Steve and her have more like a 60% chance of getting the right answer. Mm -hmm. So this 10% was the, the effect size. And here we want to translate it into uh, a distance in z-scores. This is a distance between the null and the alternative in uh, values. And we want to tra translate it into a distance in z-scores. So we said the usual thing of uh, this distance divided by the standard error equals a z-score, basically, a z-distance. But um, for that example, it worked out because under both the null and the alternative, they have the same standard deviation. But in general, the better way to do this is to, is to write it like this, because sometimes you could have different standard errors for the two distributions. And so if you distribute, you could distribute out, you could distribute this out with the different ones. There, there might not be a single one you can divide by. So this is a sort of standard way you would see it, like this. All right? So now once you've got, so what do we know? We can calculate the standard error. That's just SD over root M, and we know M. And, uh, and sometimes you might have to calculate two standard errors. And then what do you do? Then once we've got that, well, we know everything. So we can solve for Z beta. And once we solve for Z beta, we can get beta. And we weren't that happy with the beta, were we, Carly? No, it was it was thirty six point five percent. That was then. So the power power is one minus beta. That was sixty three point five percent. Which isn't that good? No, I mean it's Nothing. really important in planning an experiment. This is one of the most important things to think about. What how large your sample should be uh, to detect the effect that you want to see. Mm -hmm. Because uh, so if you're planning any experiment. Granting agencies would probably want a power of at least 80% with a type 1 error of about 5%. That's the conventional. So, yes. So, I think that that's what we should do for this with Steve and I. I want a power of 80%. Let's see um, what n should be. How many questions were, or how many times we'd have to do the guessing game. Remember, I was um, reading his mind. He had two markers and I had to pick which one he chose. So. Let's see how many times we have to do that. I think before we looked at um, 100 times. 100, yeah. 16, 100. And it wasn't, it's the problem is, she doesn't, we didn't do it last time, really. And did we really want to go through all that 100 questions mm -hmm. when the problem, we all, was so underpowered. Yeah. Only the probability of, even if they have this ESP, of making a mistake in our test, not being able to detect it, was like 36%. So she doesn't want to risk that. I no. Either. So we want to figure out for 80% power, um, what should n be? So the first step, we're going to use this equation that Ellen talked about over there. It's the exact same thing. Um, and the first step, it says use beta to find z beta. So if we have um, a power of 80%, right? So power would be 80%. Um, beta power is 1 minus beta. Um, so beta would be 20%, right? So how would I use that, I guess, to find z beta? Well, if we draw our normal curve, there's zero, um, we're saying that beta is 20%. So that means that there's 20% in the tails, right? So this would be 20%. This would be 20%, and our normal table, we know, gives us middle areas. And from beta, I can figure out what is the middle area. So here, it's just going to be 60, right? 40 um, in the tails, so 60 in the middle. So I would look up 60% and see that uh, my z-score ends up being 0.85. So this is negative 0.85, um, that's z beta. This is positive at 0.85. And now we're, we're concerned in this formula, we want the absolute value. So I'm just going to use 0.85 for my value of z beta. So the next step is to substitute the correct standard error formula into the above equation. 
So I have this. We had this from the beginning. This was 10%. Um, I have Z beta. I have Z alpha. And then, which so which standard error should we use? What's the correct one? The one was, remember it was a box that was just a, you, under the null, it just looks like this. We're doing the same experiment. So it's just one when you guess it correctly, zero when you don't. And now, um, so now what you're doing is that it's a 50-50 chance under the yeah. null, right? And so that's the square root of 0.5 times 0.5 is your SD, and you're going to solve for the N. Exactly. So, and we're dealing with percents. So when I do this, oh, excuse me for a ahead. minute, but just to reiterate, the other one did have a, if you're going to be really stickler about it, this is actually a slightly different, this is a 60%, 40%. So if you wanted to be really super precise, you could use two different standard errors here. This one's a little bit smaller. And so then you would just distribute this out. It would just be a little more arithmetic. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to do that. Not in this pre-lecture. So, okay, so let's see what I have in the equation. If I look up here, this is 0.5. Yeah, so our SD, we're going to use 0.5. So I'm going to rewrite this down here. So this distance, um, the alternative minus the null, we said is 10. That's just the 60 minus 50. Yep, 60 minus 50. Um, you, should put, you could put a percent. Oh, that's even better. To remember that we are dealing with percents. Um, so now I know Z alpha is, it was 1.65, 1 right? 1.65. Should we draw the curve in to show them? Yes. So it was about, let's say it was like here. And then we could draw another curve. And we decided to do the 5% cutoff. And the 5% it would look like maybe like that or something. Something like that. And right here, this is 60%. Let me make it prettier. Okay? This was 60%. And we had here a zero. This is our null. And that's our alternative. And here is the 50 so here's our distance right here of 10%, right? And we want to get, here's our, that's 60% is right there. Mm -hmm. And our null cutoff right here is this distance is 0.85, right? 0 0.85. Yep. And what was this distance? We wanted this right here, our type 1 error, alpha, right up here to be 5%. 5%. We have so many percents. That's OK. This is 5%. We discovered this one is? Beta is 20% if we want a power of 80%. So let's match them up here. There's our 20%, and there's our 5%. Yes. OK? And so now. What will give us a 5% in the tail? 5% in both tails, 90% in the middle, and when you look up 90%, that corresponds to a Z alpha from here to here of 1.65. So that is the alpha, and this right here is the beta of 0 0.85 as a distance. So all we're doing, it's so easy, all we're really doing is taking the 10% and matching it up with this 2.5. Exactly. So Z beta, just like Ellen said, is 0.85. Um, and then our standard error, we're dealing with percents, we said. So the formula for standard error for the percent is just SD over square root of N times 100. And actually, we said earlier that this SD, I can go ahead and write in right away that we're going to use 0.5. And now I have this um, equation that I need to solve with one unknown, n. So basically what I would do, let's see, um, I have 10. 10% equals 2.5. That's the 2.5 right there. So yeah. Four. And then times 0.5 okay. is 1.25 times 100 is 125. And then I can use algebra to basically solve for n, and I should get 12.5 squared, which is 150. It was 156.5, I think? Yeah. 156.5. 
So 156.5, let's round that up to 157. So how many questions, how many times would Steve and I have to play this game um, to get a power of 80%? 157 times, even more than the 100 that we had originally planned. Yeah, but 57 will, at least you'll be, you'll only have, you know, you only have a 20% chance of really having this power mm -hmm. and the test not detecting it. So I think so, it's worth it. We should just put a little percent here. That's all it's bothering me. Times the square root of n. Percent? Yes. You're right. Good. Yes. That's the unit's right. Thank <laughs> you. All right, thanks. So, thank you. Bye-bye.